Hi, I welcome all of you in third part of my video in which I will compute the effect of ABC using the contrast of ABC and this whole column will help us to assign these signs with the values. So we will see that which of the values has positive signs. So A, this B and then this ABC and we have this plus sign on the fifth number and we have this C on the fifth number. So first of all write these values that A plus B plus C and then plus A, B, C and rest of the four values 1, A, B, A, C and B, C. These are with the negative signs so write the negative sign there in, in the middle and then plus 1 then uh, this A, B plus A, B plus A, C plus B, C. And then as these are four terms, so I'll write here four and then n is the number of replication. So n and then here also there are four terms and divided by four n. Now in the second step, I will have to put the values for all these terms. So these values have been picked up from the example question. So we have I have a is equal to 1, 3 and 1, 1, 3, 1, 9 plus I have b is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4 plus c is equal to 2089 plus a b c is equal to 1589 and then divided by 4 I have told you in the previous part of this video that we have two replication so in place of n we will write 2 then minus again bracket then 1 value of 1 is 1154 plus a b is equal to 1277 plus a c is equal to 1617 and then b c is equal to 2138 bracket close divided by 4 we have two replication and upon solving in the calculator i will get is equal to 5.625 i suggest you people to either use the mini tab or do the compute or, or do this computation in the calculator to get the exact answer so in summary i have to first insert all of these signs for the column or for which I haven't any information that A, B, A, C, B, C and A, B, C and based upon these signs we have to compute all of the contrast and then effects and after that we have to compute the sum of scares. So now we will solve the problem based upon 2 raised to power 3 factorial design. A 2 raised to power 3 factorial design was used to develop a nitride etch process on a single wafer plasma etching tool. The design factors are gap between the electrode, this is factor number 1. The gas flow C2F6 is used as a reactant gas, so gas flow is over factor number 2. And the RF power is applied to the cathode and this RF power is my third factor. Each factor is run at two levels, so it's a 2K factorial design as we have three factors and each at two levels, so I'll write three factors each at two levels. The response variable is the H rate for the silicon nitride. I have only one response. The H rate data has been shown in the table 6.4. So this is the data available to us. We have three factors A, B, C. I have told you people in the first part of this video how we will make this design. And then this data has been given to you in the exam for replicate 1 and replicate 2. However, in the practical purposes, you will have to perform each of these treatment twice. So you will get the data. And, and the reason behind more than one replication is that if you perform only one replication, you do not left any degree of freedom for the error term. And if you do not have any degree of freedom for the error term, you can't calculate MS error and then if without MS error, there is there is no way to calculate F0 and P value. So it is compulsory for us to have some degrees of freedom for the error term. So for this purpose, we perform more than one replications. To solve this question using the mini tab, do not sum all these values. However, in order to perform uh, the manual calculation using the contrast method, I suggest you people to take the sum of 5, 5, 550 and 604, so you will get 1, 1154. Likewise, take the sum of all these values to get this one. Now, the question arises that how you will know that this term is AB. So, you can see here in this term we have A positive, B positive, so you get AB. 
likewise in the last one we have all three positive one 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 so we will get a b c here for the c there will be only c positive and a will be at the negative level so in this way you can assign these symbols to the to the these values this is the, the way that how they have represented it about the factor they have two level low with the minus one high with the plus one and all of the three factors has been described there to solve this problem first of all you will have to make this design and in this and in this design you do not have this, this uh, signs for a b a c a, b c and a b c then insert the sign for all these four columns and after that take this put the sum of all those values that i have shown to you this is the experimental data and then compute the effect of a effect of b effect of c effect of a b a c b c and a b c so you will get the seven effects using the contrast method.